Pisces, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. Oh, look at there you are. This is going to be a reading for you guys from the 1st to the 15th. In other words, the first half of December. Let's tune into the energies here that you guys are going to be dealing with. Let's see what's going on with you. And let's get a message. Clarity. Guidance. I think I want to go forward here. For Pisces. <clears throat> I may lower the camera just a tiny bit. Let's see. Let's, let's get two more shuffles. Alright. What's going on with Pisces? So we got the Three of Wands, Procrastination, Six of Cups, the World Card, and it seems as if you are in an element of stagnancy, ladies and gents. Alright. I guess that don't make much of a difference, but it is what it is. So, ladies and gents, there's a lot of nostalgia regarding a situation, and I really feel as if it's like somebody here is thinking about, reminiscing about a relationship, right? Something that's probably at a distance. Or there's possibly uh, some sort of halt, some sort of stagnancy surrounding it. And that's coming to closure. I feel that during these first two weeks of December, this is what's in transition with the world being here. Queen of Swords could be communication coming forward here. What is the Six of Cups about? The Six of Cups, you see, I did pick up an element of stagnancy and I feel as if there was, you know, tumultuousness surrounding a relationship to say the least. Tumultuousness, um, defeat, it could have been defeat. Somebody here, you know, was just having a hard time dealing with something very challenging that ensued, to say the least. They were all up in their head, and while they were simultaneously, you see, this individual that was stressed the hell out, what are their feelings toward their partner? There you go, the only card that flipped up, Ten of Cups. So somebody here was simultaneously desirous of their individual, yet couldn't. For the grace of God, let go of their own self-imposed limitations. Hence the devil, hence the eight of swords. Hmm. What about the world? Tell me about the world. You see, this is closure coming about. The full energy. Change of heart. I mean, this is a different approach that someone here is taking when it comes to a relationship. All right. This is, uh, again, a new beginning ensuing. What is this eight of wands? The tower, you see the, the eight of wands to me, I'm picking up communication that's coming forward here, Pisces. And this is just simply going to bring a drastic change. Knight of wands, someone here is coming in with a lot of passion. What does this individual want? What does this individual want? This knight of wands individual coming forward. Yeah, go figure. Two of cups, ladies and gents. This individual wants to razzle dazzle. All right. I love the flow, ladies and gents. I love, I love the synchronicity right now. It's, it feels good. All right, let's see what's going on with um, <clears throat> with Pisces' energy towards whomever it is that they're dealing with. Okay, buddies. Let's see what's going on here, Pisces. Let's get two more shuffles. What's going on here with Pisces? Mm -hmm. All right. Five of Coins. You could be experiencing an element of abandonment. The World Card, the Ace of Coins, and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, like I mentioned here just a second ago, I feel that like there was an atrocity that struck. Nevertheless, that's changing. There's a new beginning upon the horizon for you, Pisces. All right, world card to the Ace of Coins. This is, you know, close your chapter. I feel that like there's going to be attention given to a relationship. So if you haven't been experiencing a lot of activity here when it comes to a connection, that's going to change, ladies and gents. That's what I'm seeing here. It's going to change here with the Six of Wands, the Hierophants. Somebody here wants to level up a relationship. And I really feel that it's you. Pisces is inclined to elevate, take the relationship towards a higher level of commitment. All right, they don't want this to be a lost opportunity. All right, the strength card wanted to fly out. What's with the Ace of Coins? The Ace of Coins, this is you, Pisces, coming forward here with the Knight of Coins energy and the Sun. Okay. All right. What about the... King of Pentacles. Whoops. The King of Pentacles is clarified by the Two of Coins. The Four of Coins. All right. The Four of Coins. Hmm. Oh, shit. 
So Pisces, I feel like you're having a difficulty letting go of something here, but it's like you're, you're, you're trying. You're definitely trying. You're definitely trying to see, you know, the the best route possible when it comes to moving on from a defeat that ensued. I really feel as if you're trying to work this out, ladies and gents, but you're being tested. You're being tested to say the least. I feel that your person's effort towards this reconciliation plays a huge factor in regards to your speed in turning this around or your speed in coming out of your own self-imposed limitations. Hmm. All right. Let's see. What's going on here with Pisces as individual? What's going on with the person that Pisces is dealing with? Look at this. Let's get one more shuffle. What's going on with the energies that this individual is dealing with? We got the hangman. We got the ace of cups and the queen of coins. That's interesting. You got the king of coins. They got the queen of coins. All right. So the hangman. A lot of procrastination, ladies and gents, on this individual's end when it comes to bringing about a new beginning. So if you are waiting for this individual to come forward here, you'll be waiting for a minute here. All right. In the extended, I will be concentrating on their actions during this time period. So we'll get a lot more specific, but with the hangman being here, I mean, there will be movement. All right. The hangman is succeeded by the ace of coins. So this is insinuating that there will be a new beginning here on this individual's end. And... Uh, Communication will be coming forward here. All right, so that is certain. Nevertheless, what's going on here with the hangman? Four of coins, a lot of contemplation. I mean, the more this individual thinks about the relationship, I feel the more inclined they are towards having it, towards connecting it, towards transforming it for the better Pisces. That's really what I'm getting a sense of. Three of cups. This individual wants to have a good time with you. This individual here wants to be in good grace with you. Ace of cups. All right, Seven of Swords. Why the Seven of Swords? Why the Seven of Swords here for Pisces? The Two of Cups. I feel like this individual has been, has been behaving in a way that isn't aligned with the prosperity of this relationship. And that's exactly what this Ace of Cups insinuates, is that they're changing up their act. Is that the case? Is this individual changing up their act? The Justice. So they're being honest. They're, you know, they're simply embodying this energy of, of righteousness. That's what I'm seeing here. Embodying an energy of righteousness, ladies and gents, cutting through the bullshit, being honest with not only you, but themselves as well. The emperor, damn, and the lovers here at the bottom of the deck and the wheel of fortune. We got to take the major arcanas, ladies and gents. All right. So your individual here has gotten another wind, yet, like a second wind when it comes to this relationship. And I feel that they're really wanting to step up their game for sure. Queen of coins, the devil energy it could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. Why the devil here? Why the devil? Damn, both of you guys are dealing with some sort of stagnant or like stuck energy here. You guys are somewhat mirroring each other. Man, you appeared as a king of coins, they appeared as a queen of coins. The lovers is here on board. The only card I haven't seen is the empress. Nevertheless, I feel that both of you are dealing with some sort of difficulty when it comes to releasing something. Let's see, Pisces. I'm going to get some insight for you and hopefully it, it aligns with the best possible route you can take to have the most success in this matter. Following this, I will be taking it to the extended where I'm just going to focus solely on your individual. I want to look into this individual's perception of you, how they view you. I want to look into this individual's actions towards you during the first half of December. I also want to look into this individual's perception of the future. What future do they envision? And then the near future. I want to see what energies lie in the near future with the current trajectory. With the current trajectory between you two. Let's get two more shuffles. Any insight? For Pisces regarding this matter. All right. We got to the justice. We got the five of swords or five of wands, sorry, and the judgment. So, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm seeing here is that there's most certainly a need to balance something out between you and your person. Look, this, even though, even if it was a break of Pisces, it's certain that both of you want to be with one another. And I feel that coming together between you two, at least whatever Pisces is I'm, I'm connecting with, the reunion between you two is inevitable. All right, we will see that in the extent, as I mentioned, I feel as if that's the case. All right, I feel that there needs to be a sense of moving on, moving on from, tumultuous, from the tumultuousness of 
whatever feelings are surrounding this relationship. Remember, you appeared as a four coins. I told you, you're holding on to something here that they appeared as a four coins as well. They're holding on to something. I feel that it's the um, negativity of whatever ensued between you and them. Flat out. That's really what, it, what I'm getting the sense of. I'm not going to get too in, in too detail regarding that, but it's quite apparent. All right. The energy is tumultuous. The devil energy. This is self-imposed limitation. All right. This is heavy energy here that is attached to this. And when it comes to you, I feel that there's a, a sense of really having to step up. All right. To do the right thing. With the nine of wands, this is the wounded warrior, ladies and gents. All right. Yeah, you've been hurt. But what are you going to do? You're going to continue to mend or dwell in this hurt energy, stressed out, or are you going to say, fuck that? I know the reality of the situation. I see clearly. I see my flaws. I see their flaws. I see the truth. Judgment. Now I'm going to make the best decision possible to rectify this problem and make the best choice for yourself. What is the best choice for them? You see, it's going to be different for you guys. I'm sure I'm connecting with some Pisces that are like, yeah, this is my reading, but I'm, I don't want anything to do with this person. Others of you are like, absolutely. What is the best choice? King of coins. Ladies and gents, it's like whatever decision you make, be, be sure that it comes from a place of longevity, a, a place of maturity, a place of long-term investment. All right? You aren't dealing with a situation that is surface level. You guys didn't just go through the fucking dungeons of Mordor with this individual to have a good time and re-enkindle over a fucking glass of wine and fuck all night. No, this is this is um this is something to be taken serious. I feel that and there's an element of dignity here, of honesty that is required in the situation. So, ladies and gents, take it serious if you want it to be something serious because it's got that connotation to it. All right, look at I can't make this up, ladies and gents. Again, for the second time, King and Queen of Pentacles. All right, you can very much be dealing with a soulmate, ladies and gents, or an undeniable connection. Like you two have some sort of chemistry that you just can't deny. There's most certainly mirroring going on between you and this individual. All right, so be serious about this relationship if you want it to be serious, is all I got. Nevertheless, I'm taking this to the extended. If you're interested, the link will be in the description. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.